My name is Amber Reed, R-E-I-D. Birthday, 122790. I'm turning 32, but like, I'm almost positive my like mental age, like my brain is stuck at 17. I'm actually starving, so. Oh, okay, yes, I troll. Whatever, troll land has entered the chat. I'm totally fine with a clickbait title because you guys know I love me a clickbait title. You're not paying attention to your health, you don't care about your health, you don't care about your body, you want to die, you could have ate healthy, you Eat chose not to, do you really need to go on vacation, you need to buy health insurance instead. I just don't want to hear it. No one cares! Hey guys, Grüße aus Deutschland, greetings from Germany on this Thursday evening. Uh, Miss Amber has posted another video. The title is I've been keeping something from you. Um, 100% sure that that's only clickbait, but uh, the video is 15 minutes, 21 uh, seconds long. And so let's see what she has to say. At first glance, we're finally getting um, a video without any filters, without any bra, without any makeup and uh, still not having taken a shower. Her hair is greasy at the roots and totally dried out from all the dry shampoo in the length. And so uh, maybe she does come clean on a few things. Let's see. Hello, hello, welcome. Hello, Amber. Staring at yourself again, even though you're sitting down. Okay. Who cares? We wouldn't have seen it. I see all the scars in the foreground, though. And uh, that kind of made me wonder if she ever had surgery again. How would she keep herself from um, reopening the surgery scars? You know, I've been wondering about that with her excoriation disorder. Just woke up a little bit ago. So it must be afternoon in the United States. Like feeling overwhelmed with my hair because I just have so much. No, you do not. You you've lost quite a bit of it, and it's thinning out. So long, so thick, and I know. Okay, it's long, but it's also broken. Uh, I'm I'm not a hairstylist, and I can tell. And uh, it's not thick, and it's not a lot of hair. So many of you are like, cut it, cut it, cut it, and I'm just like. No, I I love my long hair. It's something I've had for like since I was in high school. Um, yeah, but you do not know how to handle it anymore um, because it's for the most part it's greasy, it's not combed, and uh, the lazy poop bun. I don't know if you know that is really a pleasant look for the shape of your head. And it originated because um, I was in foster care, as you guys know, but there was a time where I would get like visitation with my parents once a week. And me and my mom were doing this thing where whose hair can get the longest the quickest. And now both of us, current day, we both have really long hair. Um, it's just like something that we did together and I think something that we both like enjoy is just having like long hair. So yeah. I usually just like wear it up because you know it is what it is like this is just natural like after this out of the shower um, once I brush it it gets like super frizzy I do know that like my hair has changed texture massively ever since um, I got a hysterectomy my hair has changed that's just part of it okay but you're not aware enough to notice that it has gotten thinner you you're not aware enough of your hair and that's okay um, but it is like a never-ending like thing where it just like instantly reminds me that you know I had cancer at one point which is you know no you did not but I want to let you continue a little frustrating but regardless like I'm so grateful for my hair because a lot of people's hair can't grow this long or um, it's not as thick and stuff so I have to be grateful for like what I do have but I... Yeah, but your smells and it's it's caked with dry shampoo. How can you be proud of that? You can't even walk through public without uh, people noticing your smell, you know? 
because you don't wash yourself often enough. I do wear it up a lot because it's just like in my face. <laughs> but yeah. Um, Framing your face would be the better call, girl. Um, I think I'm about to have breakfast and I'm probably going to wear my hair up. Um, I just got done brushing it and it's just like so frizzy. Once I straighten it, like she looks silky and smooth and beautiful. But yeah, um... Not greasy. Look at that left side. I'm about to like make eggs or something. I don't really know. We'll see. Anything else but this. We're two minutes into the video. We've heard nothing but her talking about her hair. Which, if she was aware of how it has changed, she would notice how much thinner it is, that it doesn't have any shine, and that it's greasy. So, uh, why draw attention to it? Why sitting there without a bra and without basically a shirt on, and no makeup and no filters? And so, I reckon that uh, she's just trolling again. Okay, yes, I troll. Whatever. Troll land has entered the chat. So a lot of people were confused why we got new plates and I just want to say like you wouldn't believe how awkward it is to have square plates that are like squiggly on the sides like this um, while plating your food, while washing your dishes, while putting them away. You hardly ever do that though, you use styrofoam plates and plastic forks. Etc, etc, like I just do not recommend this it was annoying so that is actually why we were using paper plates for a little bit but now that we got um our new plate it's just so much easier and so much better so i know a lot of people were confused but i promise you like these are just annoying like <laughs> um and they're not even really like aesthetically pleasing anymore <laughs> aesthetically pleasing i used to say that so much um boring uh my dinner is ready so i'm gonna take a break i cut out the rest of her lecture about uh, plates and also her uh, latest decor update i'm also cutting out some kind of website she's showing us now where she's doing research uh in order to do a review on that site i'm not interested in that next scene is in the bathroom guys so my hair is just <laughs> or oh frizzy. It's okay. But if I don't want a frizzy day, I feel like frizzy days are harder to handle and that is why I put my hair up. I'm gonna straighten her instead. I wouldn't do it. At least not without any anti uh, burn or anti-fry or anti-dry uh, product because your hair is very dry and broken. So, here is a before and then I'll show you guys an after. All right, finished. Nice and fried, but now it at least uh, the lengths look uh, shiny again. I mean, the greasy roots are always shiny. Now it is silky and smooth so i have gotten a lot of questions about my hair um so if i doubt it girl you're gonna have to answer them now do i use any product no i no you just let them go greasy and hope that we don't see it i just feel like products makes my hair more dry and i think that's the reason why my hair grows so often which actually um her hair grows so often. <sighs> the next question I get is how often do I cut it? So I... My question is why do you always have to lean over and put your elbows somewhere when you could be standing up straight to strengthen the core muscle girl, hmm? Get my hair trimmed every three months and I usually cut like four inches off but my hair grows back super fast. So that is why I'm, I guess, lucky in that regard. Look how thin the lengths are. You Are you completely delusional about the way that you look? They used to be so much thicker and they're thinner now. Especially the ends. But keep going, girl. You're just making a fool of yourself. 
How often do I wash my hair? I used to only wash my hair once a week, but... Yeah, right. Maybe in your dreams. It depends on the hair, and I don't believe in that anymore. So now I'm washing it about twice a week. A few months. Every few months is what it looks like. Um, sometimes three, if I'm feeling generous. You should really start blushing again when you tell lies. Use Tresemme as my shampoo and conditioner because I've gotten that question on um, Instagram quite a few times. But yeah, I just love my long hair. Then why do you not take care of it, girl? And why do you have to tell lies about it? I don't get it. You said a few videos back that there used to be a time where you trolled your audience because you needed the attention and I said in that video that you were seeking negative attention over, you know, any attention so you would even take negative attention and so you made a fool out of yourself on the internet but you continue to do it and this is the proof. We know that you're neglecting your hair. We know that it has gotten significantly thinner uh, uh, since, like, compared to a few years ago. And you're leaning over your bathroom counter here and you're lying your ass off about it. And there's no need for it. And some of you want me to cut it. Not happening. Because it would probably limit the stench a little bit because often when you wear it open, it gets stuck in your armpits Ugh. and that that kind of it absorbs the stench because you don't take showers often enough and so imagine the smell that's in your hair this is how she looks from the back greasy greasy up there i see it i i give her that it looks shiny because she just fried fried it with that hair straightener but uh it, the roots are greasy it's disgusting that the smell in that bathroom dude smooth and i don't know i just love my hair um i don't like many things about myself physically but my hair is one of them that is sad Okay, so now I'm sorry that I cut out the part with uh, with uh, a, a rarity because here's Wasabi acting as a statue. And here we have another um, home decor piece that I absolutely love. This one is usually in the bedroom. <laughs> She's eating on camera again, so I'm going to cut that out too. Wow, if she keeps going like this, there's not going to be much left uh, to react to. Now she's talking about her imaginary girlfriend, about nutrition, about moderation, which she knows absolutely nothing about. So let's see what the next segment is. She just keeps rambling. I'm not even sure what it is about. Let's see. Takeout isn't a daily occurrence. It's a special occasion type thing. And that's exactly what my dietitian wants for me. And I am just so proud of myself. And I wanted to share that with you guys. Okay. Uh, is the dietitian saying anything about you gaining weight? Or failing at weight loss completely? That would be something interesting to share. Um... I don't know, I was just like sitting here thinking and I was like, should I share it? And I was like, yeah, because it's time to celebrate that. Because like, truly. Wait, so she clickbaited again. Was that about uh, not getting takeout, but um, TV dinners? Is that the bullshit she clickbaited with? I've been keeping something from you guys, whatever. Like I was addicted to takeout. And when I noticed like the first week was like especially hard, but- Especially, mm-hmm. Now it's just like so much easier. She's not a fast learner, is she? Like I don't have that like craving for it. Like I would wake up and just like crave takeout and I don't have that. Honey bun, you're sitting there constantly or gradually gaining weight. Don't tell us about what you didn't have a craving for. Why are you talking about food while you eating on camera? Why can you not let the topic weight loss go? You have miserably failed at it for almost a decade now. You are in no position to give out any kind of advice. What are you doing with your life? I'm not feeling anymore and it just feels like 
like a sense of freedom. So yeah, I just yeah, you're very delusional, very delusional. Keep going. I just want to celebrate that, and I just want to say oh, celebrate. Oh, you you've been you've been doing so good. You're probably so proud of yourself. You've accomplished so much in your life, and it could have been so much worse. I guess that's the premise you always live on. Uh, yeah, she's she really looks happy. Um, about what she has done uh, lately or whatever that was probably had a whole bunch of takeout like if you're addicted to takeout I know it's freaking hard but if I can do it you can do it I promise so right now I'm currently oh dude I can't doing the dishes yeah just for the camera we know you better say something interesting or I'm cutting this off and I just feel grateful that I'm able to do them as much as did your last bra snap or what happened why are you not wearing bras anymore I like don't like doing them I'm just grateful I can you know there was a point in my life where I wasn't able to do them and that okay now try to stand up straight and not bend over the way you do and don't lean your fupa against the counter now that's the workout for you that's why i don't use the dishwasher because i can do my dishes and just early in this video she said that this is how they dry their dishes uh those those oddly shaped plates and now she's she says she doesn't want to use the dishwasher contradicting herself over and over again and is not intelligent enough to realize that we can remember what she said and sure sometimes doing dishes is annoying but y'all the fact that i can even do them like i used to not even be able to stand up for more than 10 seconds <laughs> exaggerating again disgusting i don't know empowering and just the way that the body changes and can improve why does yours continue to get bigger and you're talking about weight loss nine years on the internet flapping your jaws about weight loss look at yourself when will you finally cave and say you know raise your hands and say I can't I can't and I'm done trying to pretend if you just set your mind to it i don't know it's powerful and it's yeah she won't be able to shut up about the dishes i'm gonna have to cut her off here many many minutes later okay guys just really quick um i had already left uh, because i was watching the rest of her video and i had nothing to say she's just rambling on and so i actually wanted to cut the reaction off here but that wouldn't be fair to you guys that are not uh, watching her videos on her channel but on reaction channels and so i'm gonna let this go but oh my gosh i am really not frustrated like designated with uh, with her um because now it's just the, the fact that she lies all the time is a given the fact that she clickbaits is a given. The fact that she cannot lose weight to save her life uh, or tell the truth about her weight gain is a given. But now she's mind-numbingly boring and I cannot deal with that. Uh, because all day long I have to be like, stay alert, stay alive. I'm a receptionist at a large company and um, I'm also in public two hours a day and so uh, you, you have to be able to react in city life and so coming home to this l listening to her mindless drivel about trivial things and lying about what she cannot even accomplish what most of us out here do accomplish on a daily basis it's just um, it's it's now at a point where I'm thinking it's just useless but let's uh, continue to let her ramble and it's therapeutic to just sit here and to just sit here she's not even aware of the fact that she is standing right now she's using phrases willy-nilly without thinking about them that's how far down her IQ is already do the dishes and I don't know something about it is special to me 
Do you see how she keeps leaning her fupa against uh, the counter because she can't stand up without support? I gotta admit. And I was also thinking, I wish that like, obviously it's not possible. See, leaning <laughs> again. But the improvement I've made like in therapy and just like mentally and emotionally, it's like, say that was a physical thing like beforehand yeah what she uses as a metaphor now doesn't make sense at all and so i wanted to say the following about that uh totally aside from the fact that she's being completely vague about what is going on in therapy she's trying to give us a whole lot of details but that is just the gaslighting of a sociopath and so uh, she's not really giving any details but she talks a lot and that's how she ex exhausts uh people that are uh listening to her uh, but if she had um, learned anything, let's say from when she was talking about the last session and she realized that when you talk about something, about a traumatic event in your life and experience, that you kind of get desensitized to it. Um, that is not what I would, uh, what I would call that. I would call that that you bring awareness to it. You don't, you don't let it sit in your subconscious mind and rule your life and uh, put the stamp of a victim on you uh, but you but, but you uh, consciously look at the experience you be as detailed as possible when you write it down writing down is a lot better uh, than trying to talk about it because you really have to think about how you're gonna phrase your thoughts right and so when she came to the conclusion that when she deals with something consciously it kind of helps her because it does, it's not that painful anymore she didn't have to cry anymore about it um that is exactly what she needs to be doing with everything where she fucked up in her entire life and for us to see for the past nine years and that is telling lie after lie being aware of what damage it does to the audience and then also being aware and taking responsibility for the fact that nobody believes a word that you're saying anymore and um even if she didn't lie about obvious things, like n now she's talking about using the dishwasher when earlier in the uh, video she said that um, they were drying the dishes in the dishwasher. Of course, they're not going to do the dishes by hand and put them in the dishwasher to dry them. I mean, of course, they used the dishwasher, but probably only for the pots and pans because they've been using styrofoam. Uh, plate. So she's lying about that uh, when she was talking about the square or almost square plates, uh, you know. And she lies about obvious things that we can easily see because she's that far gone that she cannot imagine that there are people out here more intelligent than her that can actually point out her lies, which most of the audience can by now. And um, because they're not blinded by her gaslighting anymore. And um, But she keeps going. She just keeps going, and that's why it's mindless, uh, because she should have by now had some kind of realization that she can't fool the audience anymore, at least the majority of the viewers, but she continues to go as if it's her first video on the internet, and that is increasingly annoying me now. You know, I had 50 dots. Ew. I don't know why I chose dots because that freaks me out. So I'm gonna say No, it does not freak you out, otherwise you wouldn't have the snake design dress. You liar. 50 lines on my arm. And every time I was successful in therapy or I made an improvement with my mental health in any sort of way, some of those lines would disappear. It's just like a metaphor or like a physical um, representation of like the truth is sometimes a lot of mental improvement you can't physically see that happen and see how she just keeps rambling and makes absolutely no sense because if at the same time she was losing weight while she's been telling us for five, five months now, let's, let's count again. I'm bad with things like that. The end of November she started this time around um, uh, milking the whole weight loss surgery thing. So December, January, February, March, April, 
and now we're in May, so it's still five months. So for over five months, uh, she's been telling us that she's in interested in weight loss surgery and has not dropped significant weight in five months. Now, I recently watched another episode of Dr. Now, uh, you know, 600, uh, my, uh, 600 Pound Life or whatever that show is called, and people lose a lot more weight in one month. They can, and she could, because in the beginning it's mainly water weight that she is losing, you know. But she just keeps going on and on and on, and when you listen to her, it actually sounds like she's been so successful with things, but she has not been. Because look at her, and she keeps showing uh, products uh, into the camera for us to admire her for purchasing, I guess. I'm not sure what the game plan is here, but um, it's there's no progress, and she keeps rambling about having made progress, you know. I've just made so much improvement lately. I feel it. I'm taking my Zoloft which people have also asked about that. The reason why I stopped taking it is because I actually never got it increased because you can increase Zoloft. Wait, did you just say that she uh, stopped taking it or st stopped taking it before? And for a minute there, it was working. And then just like at the, the first dosage you get, um, it was working. And then it just like stopped working. <laughs> and instead of increasing the dosage um we just kind of said let's try a different medicine and then i um, my fault i never got around to it but now i've been on zoloft for okay so she is talking about before gosh over a month now and i feel it working again like i don't have as much anxiety like i completely stopped delta 8 as well and I'm just... I'm you don't feel any anxiety and you keep... You can't keep your eyes still for one second. Which I showed in my last video that was hilarious, by the way. And some of you did uh, count and it was 70, 76 times that she uh, renewed the eye contact with herself in a time frame of 4 minutes and 38 seconds. And so uh, I don't know if I'd call that uh, having shaken my anxiety, you know. I'm trying, I'm trying so hard to just treat my body better. No, you're not, girl, because this is not a podcast, girl. We can see you. We can see you. And the beginning of this video was painful. Do you not edit your videos anymore? I mean, in some uh, shape, way, or form, you're probably doing it. Otherwise, uh, the video clips wouldn't be spliced together. But, oh my gosh, no, you've not made any progress. No, you're not successful at anything but running that mouth and maybe picking your scars. And it's hard because, you know, for 32 years, like, I didn't. So it's just, you know, every day is a chance to improve and I'm really trying to take advantage of that because <laughs> no you're not girl and we can see that you are not the person I was in my 20s even just three years ago I am not that person no more yes you are girl and uh I had a rude awakening when I uh, watched Mr. Snowflakes or Under the Hood was actually the channel he posted it under um when he was reading Facebook statuses uh, uh, of her and uh, they were from 2011 and she is a negative, entitled, cruel, egotistical, lying bitch. And she's still the same way and this is 12 years later. And on top of it all, on top of not being able to change her personality, uh, but make it even worse by uh, coming off even more bitter and focusing on the negative um, She's even gained a lot of weight since then so I'm not sure what she is talking about that she is improved She's making progress. She's not and she's delusional about having made progress Hey guys, so it's the end of the night. I actually just have this video edited Check out the shadows under those eyes. Oh my god and I just need to add on this clip and I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching thank you for the ongoing support and thank you for being wonderful
You're quite welcome, honey bun. Oh, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. What's with the finger in the camera? You don't get to do that. Otherwise, I cut off every end of your videos. I'm not getting why she's lying about obvious things. I think by now it's just wanting to troll the audience because she has nothing to offer um, that somebody like me, I can only speak for myself, would be in, uh, interested in uh, listening to uh, because she just lies. You know, earlier she, no, not earlier, uh, earlier this week or a few uh, vlogs ago, or it might have even been in the last one, I don't care. Um, she said that this is in real time so she's not behind anymore and in this video she said that the last four or five uh, vlogs were um, recorded over a month and so she lies lies and lies again and so it's actually useless to listen to her because anything she says is a lie anyway and so uh, yeah I don't know what else to say about this? She's visibly still gaining weight. She's got her moon face back and she's completely delusional about it. So, uh, nothing new. All right, I'm gonna go, you guys. Uh, thank you for listening to this and thank you for counting all the dings in the last uh, video. That was hilarious. I laughed my butt off. I actually had uh, sore stomach muscles the next day at work from laughing so hard about that. Uh, I could have done it in this one because she keeps looking at herself, but, you know, it's not worth my time. Just imagine a ding every time she looks at herself in the viewfinder. All right, I'm going to go. Thank you for watching this, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.